Hi, and welcome to Piano Time, one of the easiest and most fun ways to learn how to play piano, and where I can show you how to play some of your favorite songs using simple three note chords, just like this. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Exactly. Nice job. <laughs> and we're not going to be using sheet music. We don't even really need a piano although it is very helpful to have a piano or electronic keyboard. But if you don't have one of those, you can download one of these free piano apps to your mobile device. And if you have any trouble setting that up, there should be a link over here telling you how to do that. Can't wait to show you how this is done. Thanks, partner. Let's get started. All right, if you're a person who already knows that these are the white keys and these are the black keys, then you're ready to move on. You can skip ahead. If not, then you might want to go back to the first video in this series called Making Sense of the Piano, where I explain that while there are 88 keys on a full standard piano, there are really only seven keys that you need to remember. Now, as we saw in that last video, these are the seven keys. And the little trick to remember that was to imagine that anytime you see the set of two black keys together, think of them as a roof over a doghouse, and in the doghouse is a dog, which starts with D, so we can remember that the white key between those two black keys is always D. You can also imagine that this key over here is C because you can think about a cat trying to get into the doghouse from this side. Over here we have an elephant which represents the E. And we look over here, anytime that you have the set of three black keys together, we can imagine that that makes the roof on a larger main house. Inside the main house we have a front door and a back door. We have grandma's room, we have an attic. Those are all seven keys that you need to know. And once you know where those are, you know all the white keys on the piano. Pretty cool. All right, now that we've identified all the piano keys, let's practice finding some while we learn a song. Sound good? Great. First, I'm going to show you this thing called a chord sheet. This is a chord sheet for the song Happy Birthday. A chord sheet typically has lyrics or the words of the song, and then above the lyrics, you'll see these letters. The letters are telling us which chords to play and when. Now this chord sheet is included in the description below, and I highly recommend that you print it out if you can to have as a reference while we play along. But wait a second, what are chords? Good question. A chord is two or more notes played at the same time. So any two or three or six notes played at the same time make up a chord. Typically we use these chords to accompany something called a melody. Uh, and the melody can be sung by a lead singer or played by a lead instrument. Uh, let's demonstrate with the song Happy Birthday. Uh, the melody to the song Happy Birthday is If I were to play the chords to accompany that melody, it might sound something like this. And the cool thing is, with a simple internet search, you just Google the name of any song and follow that name with the word chords, you can find a free chord sheet to pretty much any song that exists, which means if you're good at playing chords, or if you know how to play a good amount of chords, you can play a lot, a lot, a lot of songs. And that's what this whole piano learning series is about. We're gonna start with some really simple chords that you can probably play with very little, if any, practice at all. Uh, and we're gonna play those chords to this song, Happy Birthday. So let's take a look at the chord sheet again and figure out which chord we need first. All right, it looks like our first chord is gonna be C. Can you find middle C? Remember the cat? There it is. So that's the first thing we wanna do in building our chord. We wanna find that first or foundational note. And for any C chord, that's gonna be C. If you wanna sound like a real musician, which I kinda do, you can call that note the root. The root of the chord. So the root of the C chord is going to be C. Can you play the C with your thumb? And leave your thumb there while we find our next note. We're going to skip the next white key and then with our middle finger we'll play the E. Can you play the C and the E at the same time? Nice job. That's a chord. That is a tiny little two note C chord or C major chord. All right, let's see what chord we need next in the song. Looks like the next chord is going to be G. Great. The G chord is going to look a lot like the C chord, except it's going to be built on a different note, a different root. If the root for the C chord was C, what do you think the root for the G chord is going to be? Um, 
If you guessed G, then you are correct. Oh, that's All right. what I was going to say. So we're going to find the G with our thumb. Remember Grandma's Room. Play that note. Skip one white key and play B. Play them both at the same time. G major, right there. All right, let's see what other chord we need for this song. We're going to go from the C to the G, from the G to the C, and then the C to the F. That's going to be the last chord that we need to learn for this song. Good news for us is that the F, once again, is going to look a lot like the G. In fact, if you keep your hand position the same, keep the distance between your fingers the same, when you move over to the new root, it'll make the transition easier. Let's see. Let's play that G major. And then to move to the F, all we need to do is lift our fingers, keep our finger position the same, slide our thumb over, and the rest of our hand should follow so that playing the F, the front door, will result in us playing the F major right there. We now know all the chords to play this happy birthday song. Let's give it a shot. Let's try to put those chords together. Play the C, then move to G. Play the G, then move back to C. Play the C, then on to F. And then the last turnaround is going to be a little quicker. We're going to go C, G, C. We'll play the C, then G, C. All right, let's try it with the lyrics. We're going to use the alternate set of lyrics to start. The lyrics that I wrote for my cat, Francine. She's a grandma cat. So sometimes we call her grandma or grandma cat. And maybe the starting letter to some of those words, F for Francine, G for grandma, C for cat, will help us find the root with our thumb. By the way, the first singing note, the actual note that we're going to sing for the word happy is going to be this G. Happy cat day to grandma. That's the melody that will go along with the chord. Happy cat day to grandma, etc. Try it slowly. One, two, three. One, two. Happy cat day to grandma. Happy grandma's day to cat. Happy cat day, Francine. Happy cat day, grandma cat. All right, let's try it one more time with the traditional lyrics. Let's put it all together. One. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Francine, happy birthday to you. How about that? That's your first song, congratulations. Hopefully you have a cat or a grandma whose birthday is coming up. You can sing that song for them. All right, you ready for video number two. I'll see you there.